What's up, YouTubes? What's up, YouTubes? What's up, YouTubes? Just got back in from a dive with DBK, marine biologist and absolute beauty. We cleaned up quite a bit of garbage. We found some really neat stuff. We got a pair of Ray-Bans, I think. Um, a bottle, a cell phone, a little airplane, uh, and this thing, which can pick stuff up. Fantastic. And most special of all, we saw a northern map turtle down there. Incredible. Anyway, let's see the footage. Um, hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> bridge you can see in the background here is called the Swing Bridge, and that's where we'll be going for this dive. Right off the hop here, we get a can. Very early on in the dive, DBK finds his little airplane, which is pretty neat. Then we come across a partially burnt box of chicken fingers. Here I find a pair of Ray-Bans. And then just as I'm greeting this smallmouth bass, DBK comes up and he's found not only a cell phone, but also a garbage picker, which is amazing. The garbage picker was actually pretty much brand new. Here I'm just reaching in to grab some litter and contemplating how we are gonna get this bucket when I get a tap on the fin and completely forget about the bucket, as DBK has spotted a female northern map turtle. Northern map turtles are a species at risk here in Ontario and have a status of special concern. There's a couple reasons you can tell this turtle is a female. One would be its size. Females can get over 25 centimeters in carapace length, while males will rarely exceed 16 centimeters, and this turtle was certainly larger than 16 centimeters. The second indicator would be the fact it appears to be eating an invasive zebra mussel here. Males or young northern map turtles will generally feed on insects and crayfish. Here she decides she's had enough of us hanging around and starts hitting the road. Like many turtles, the northern map turtle's main threat is likely habitat loss and fragmentation. Absolutely amazing to have the opportunity to see this turtle during the dive. After our turtle friend left, we turned the dive around and started our way back. As we're heading back in, we come across this bass nest. You can't totally tell, but I believe that it's a largemouth bass. And then we find this bottle. It's a pretty interesting old bottle. It said 1964 on the bottom. I'm not sure if that's an indicator of the year in which it was produced, but it may be. And shortly after finding this bottle, we exit the water. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and thanks for supporting my guy, Planet Meat in helping clean up our waterways. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to see plenty more.